Is everyone here happy this morning? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I don't, don't want to make you lie. Amen. But if you're happy and you know it, say amen. Yeah. Amen. I know all things may not be going well for us, but if you woke up this morning and blood running through your veins, you have clothes to put on and you're in your right mind. I think that's worth being happy this morning. Amen. I want you to open your Bibles with me to the Gospel of Luke, chapter number one. The Gospel of Luke, chapter number one. I commence reading around verse number 30. Chapter number one, verse number 30. And it reads this way. In the New International Version, it reads... But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. King James says, since I never knew a man. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is gone to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive in her sixth month, is in her sixth month, I'm sorry, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. The key verse that I want to focus on is verse number 37, which is the one I really like the most. Verse number 37 of Luke chapter number 1. And in the King James Version, it reads this way, for with God, nothing is impossible. For with God, nothing is impossible. And I want to talk with you just for a few minutes from this topic, the Holy Spirit making the impossible possible. All right, all right. The Holy Spirit making the impossible possible. Uh -huh. all right. Now we know, as we have heard so many times regarding the birth of Jesus and, and all that took place regarding his birth, first of all, we know that Mary had never been touched in a way that one can conceive a child. All right. Never been touched in that way. And secondly, there is, there is a parallel story of a lady who's too old All right. to give birth All right. to a son. All right. All right. So we have one person too old, uh -huh. and in our culture we would have another one too young. Most Israelite or Jewish young ladies married at a very young age because marriages were prearranged. Yeah, yeah. And, and the, the parents would set up this marriage and as soon as she became ready to give birth to a child, they would have a wedding ceremony. All right, all right. Well, God working the way that only God can work. talks about how the Holy Spirit was an integral part of the plan. Right. Holy Spirit has always worked in a very strategic manner from the beginning of the inception of creation. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, he was there during creation, hovering, brooding over the face of the earth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even when they went into captivity, the Bible says he was there with Daniel, for Daniel spirit of excellence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Isaiah talks about talks about how he was there and, and, and who could give the Holy Spirit? Who could teach him? Who could give him counsel as he worked with the Father and the 
the Son to plan not only creation, but your and my redemption. Right. Holy Spirit has always played a major part. And even now, at the, at the beginning, at the inauguration of the church, it was the Holy Ghost yes. who, began, who began his administrative ministry yes. as, as, as God, as God the Spirit, leading God's men to lead God's church. of the same chapter it reads and in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent from God into a city of Galilee named Nazareth yeah, yeah. to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary yeah, all right. and the angel came to her and said three things about Mary that impresses me in this passage. A right. couple of things happen in our generation with Mary. One is, some take her to the extreme of being holier than Jesus, right. which I think is a mistake. Right. And then other of us don't mention her at all, all right. which I think is a mistake. Because Mary played an integral part in the coming of our Lord Jesus. Can you imagine the Bible has declared earlier in the book of Chronicles that the eyes of the Lord go to and fro the whole earth uh -huh. to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are committed to him. Yeah, yeah. God's always looking for somebody to be an instrument or a vessel by which he can use to make a difference in the world. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine this little girl who was, amen, in a temptation young girls are faced with today. Right. She probably was tempted just like his other girl. She probably wanted to have a boyfriend, but she held herself out. Yes, probably not even knowing that God had a special plan for her, yes. but she abstained yeah, yeah. from doing that which would prevent God from using her in a mighty way. Right. First of all, the Bible says she was highly favored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Highly favored she was greatly graced. Uh -huh. 